The judial switch has more potential side effects than any other bariatric operation. It works by inducing a large degree of malabsorption of food and it also has very profound effects on the hormones that the gut produces that control appetite. It's a marvellous operation for weight loss and a very, very good operation for getting rid of diabetes, but all of this comes at a price. And the price is a greatly increased risk of poor nutrition if you don't get the post-operative diet correct. In order to survive in a good health after a duodenal switch, you have to be willing to eat a large amount of protein, something in the region of about 120 grams of protein a day. And when you consider that a pint of milk has only got 18 grams of protein in it, you can see this is a lot of protein to get through. And that's every day for the rest of your life. If you don't get that right, then you run the risk of becoming protein deficient. And that has very serious effects on the muscles, the heart and the liver. The other thing that's not absorbed terribly well after a duodenal switch are certain vitamins, particularly vitamins that are absorbed along with fat. These are vitamins A, D, E and K. Vitamin D is probably the most important of these as it's responsible for normal calcium metabolism. And if this isn't corrected or they have a problem with this, you can get problems with the bones in terms of osteomalacia with thinning of the bones and weakening of the bones. So you have to take high dose supplements of vitamin D and vitamin A following a duodenal switch. And this isn't optional. It's absolutely vital if you're to maintain good health. Instead of just taking one multivitamin a day, by the time you've taken a couple of extra ones, the vitamin D and the other supplements that are required, you're probably going to be on about eight tablets a day of vitamin and mineral replacements compared to just one or two after a gastric bypass. And it's vitally important that you don't forget to take these. So I don't think the Jewish switch is for everybody. I think it's a good operation for people who are probably a little bit obsessional, terribly organized, and could manage to actually stick to that very strict regime for the rest of their life. If you have a hectic or chaotic lifestyle or taking tablets isn't the thing you do really well, forget about it because you'd be placing yourself at too great a risk of severe nutritional problems. For more information about the duodenal switch, please have a look at the Phoenix Health website.